Good morning. Well, I look great. <laughs> I should really not be having the camera out this early, but I'm doing an unedited, like super raw morning routine, I guess you could call it today. You know when you just wake up and your throat is like, oh. <laughs> anyway, this is how I wake up normally with Duke being like, are we going outside now or? Oh, no, no. <laughs> And then he's like, actually, I don't want to go outside. I want my tummy stroked instead. Yes, you want your tummy stroked instead. Do you? Do you? Do, 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 do. do you want to go outside? Come on. Also, this paw, please. This paw, please. Thank you. Honestly, the only other people you see this early are the other dog people. And they also look a bit like me outside in PJs. <laughs> Mismatched PJs, obviously. I'm actually also wearing socks and shoes. Those are just the first shoes I could find by my door. And that's what I put on in the mornings. Anyway, just taking this little guy around. Look at your little white bottom. He's so cute. Okay, this way. Come on. Good boy. I have a meeting at my flat shortly, so I'm going to go and Get ready for the day. Come on. Only I would feed my dog <laughs> from my gorgeous pearly bowls. I don't know why. This is the first one I grabbed because your one's in the dishwasher still. Why are you looking at me like you want more food? Hmm? Oh, bye. I have switched to my fancy big camera right now. Actually, can I just tell you one thing? Last night, my hair curls totally stayed. Normally, they kind of half stay. But anyway, they totally stayed and my hair looks... Kind of good and i'm really happy with that i don't know why i just took my hair down when i should take it out to do my makeup so yeah i'm gonna do my makeup today guys my makeup bag is so freaking streamlined right now look at this i'm gonna do my makeup with everything from this bag so first i'm going to cleanse my skin i'm using the simple micellar cleansing water i always keep like little what are these even called like cotton rounds cotton pads i always keep them on my vanity this is just to remove impurities and rehydrate my skin it's also really good for removing makeup as well and it doesn't leave the skin tight or dry either oh my gosh i always forget to take off my makeup on my neck when i put foundation there so <laughs> oopsie <laughs> okay so now i am going to open this up and i'm going to moisturize i'm starting with my simple water boost hydration booster as you can see it looks very well loved it's come with me quite a few different places over the past month it's a really nice light gel texture it sinks into the skin really quickly and it's actually i think the first uk hydration booster it helps combat the five signs of dehydration and i will tell you what those are dullness which I have right now. Tightness, which I don't actually have too much, but I do feel that sometimes, and when you do feel it, it's just not fun at all. Dryness, which I get random patches of. Fine lines, which I'm getting. And roughness as well. It's quite a multi-purpose product. You can apply it before you... <laughs> picked it up you can apply it before your moisturizer which is what i normally do or you can mix it with your moisturizer as well i find that my skin's hydration really really makes a difference when i'm applying makeup over the top because if my skin is dehydrated my skin just eats my foundation and it fades really quickly and it doesn't sit right and it looks bad so keeping my skin hydrated is so important to me and i actually do really notice a difference throughout the day when i use the hydration booster. I am now using this sample because it fits in my little small bag of creme de la mer moisturizer. Still not sure about it, haven't made my mind up about it. Okay, now I'm going to apply my foundation. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Stick Foundation. It is so good. It's not my exact skin color right now, but you'll see how easily it blends, especially when my skin is nice and hydrated like it is now. It has a sponge on the other side, which I'm not like super, super keen on or anything, but it actually does work. And you'll see how easily the foundation blends just there. Like, oh, it's so good. I'm big into cream products right now. I actually didn't used to like cream products that much at all. You'll rarely see me talk about cream products, but when my skin is hydrated like really, really well, and it's just, everything is applying better and it's just smoother and it's cooperating with life, then I actually find cream products 
are amazing for me. Oh, I just used the LA Girl Pro Conceal, by the way. This is really good. And now I'm using this Tarte Twinkle Stick Highlighter. I'm just gonna use that around my face as well. A little bit in my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and I'm going to blend everything in. This is really like my three minute morning makeup. I mean, this isn't three minutes. <laughs> it's as close as I'm gonna get to three minutes. So I'm just gonna call it three minutes. Zh, zh, zh. That was good, wasn't it? Really quick. Don't think I'll ever not love the NARS concealer. I am just sweeping that on. Actually, I'm gonna show you something that I recently didn't think I would love at all. But it's somewhere in here. This Chanel blender concealer situation. You basically apply your concealer like that, which I find when I have spots, that's a really good way to apply concealer. And then the other side blends it in. And it actually is such a good little blender. It's really similar to the MAC 217 brush. So I might try using that brush for concealer because I've never really done that before, but it's actually so good. So yeah, I'm just blendy, blendy, blending. I'm so happy with the way my foundation looks at the moment. It's just sitting really well. It's not looking oily and shiny. It's not looking dull. It's looking nice and just, just happy, happy and hydrated. Look how much I've used of this cream pot, by the way, the Chanel Cream Eyeshadow and Memory from their winter collection. Oh, I've used it so much, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do eyeshadow. It's a treat, 10 second eyeshadow. There we go, 10 seconds. That was actually 10 seconds, wasn't it? It was a bit less than 10 seconds. It makes me happy when I can just do something and it looks good and it takes no time at all. I basically apply it with one finger and blend it with another. <laughs> it's just so easy. I use this Charlotte Tilbury palette, which is actually the Beauty and Go five minute palette, but I keep it in my makeup bag because it has a really good mirror. And if I want to ramp up, ramp up, amp up my makeup for the evening, then it does that really well as well. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. You guys have been encouraging me in my vlogs to try and not do winged liner. And this is probably my second time not doing winged liner. And I actually am getting quite used to it even though my eyes feel a tiny bit naked. I'm gonna use this Lights Camera Flashes mascara from Tarte that makes your lashes look really long because the bristles are quite long and thick. I can never talk when I'm doing my mascara. I'm like long and thick. <laughs> I'm also gonna do a little bit of, not liquid, but crayon, crayon? Pencil, <laughs> pencil eyeshadow on my upper waterline. Mm, oh, smooth, smooth. So trying to do a three minute makeup and then you poke yourself in the eye with your eyeliner and your mascara goes everywhere. Oops. I am now gonna use this Besame Loose Brightening Powder under here just to mattify a little bit. Ooh. It mattifies, but it doesn't take away the glow. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight under my brow bone and a tiny bit in my inner corner. Going to do a red lip today. Can't talk when I do my mascara, I can't talk when I do my lip liner, so hold on. One of my all-time favorite red lips, Giorgio Armani Lip Magnet. This is the color 302. It's super bright, doesn't actually go with my lip liner right now. The lip liner color is like totally wrong, but I just kind of needed that as the base and now I'll just go over it. Oh, I just freaking love this lip. It just livens up my makeup even when I've done like a two minute, really easy breezy makeup look, but I'm super happy with how my skin looks at the moment. Sorry, you probably can't take me seriously while I'm in my like heart PJs. I really have found using a hydration booster really, really, oh, sorry, that was a squirt of this, really helps my skin. It's just like a really easy extra step and it makes such a big difference. I am now using a little hair oil. This is the Gizu hair oil and I'm just running this through the ends of my hair. I can always tell when I've just woken up because my hair is so knotty, but I can just brush it with my hands, <laughs> which probably isn't very good, but I'm just lightly brushing. And this just adds extra shine to my hair, adds a little bit of hydration as well, tames frizz. ready for the day. It's kind of a great day though, to be honest. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I don't normally eat breakfast as soon as I get up, but let's see. Oh, I just turned on my speaker by accident. Let's, uh, I actually don't even know what I have on my fridge. <laughs> 
great. I forgot, I've been away for a while. I haven't done a food shop in a while. I have one, one apple left over. That's not gonna be a good enough breakfast, is it? I told you this was unedited morning routine. Let me see what's in my cupboard. Okay, I have some oats. We could do with oats. I have some walnuts. Ooh, do you see where I'm going with this? I have some goji berries. I don't know if you see where I'm going with this, but stay tuned. We'll make this work. I know you're a true Nigella domestic goddess when you can whip up stuff of whatever you've got left over. Watch this taste like crap. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna make some sort of spicy oat, winter, nutmeggy, cinnamony, apple-y porridge. <laughs> right. I make my porridge with water, by the way. Ooh, there we go. I honestly kind of eyeball it and just do like a bit of porridge, a bit of water. I honestly love my porridge gloopy. The gloopy, the better. I feel like I'm one of the few people that likes gloopy porridge. Okay, I'm gonna leave that a sec. I'm gonna put that on a lower heat. This is where I keep all the goods. We want cinnamon, we don't want turmeric, we don't want salt. Any nutmeg around? Don't know, oh gosh, shush. Don't know if I have nutmeg. Ooh, I have ginger. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it with cinnamon and ginger. Use what I have. I would have liked to add some nutmeg. Gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. Mmm, cinnamony. I'm also gonna add the tiniest bit of ginger. Okay, I'm gonna take a handful of chopped apple and put it in my porridge. Got my porridge. Let's try this. I freaking love apple and I love cinnamon and I love oats. Mmm. Guys, I'm telling you, gloopy porridge is the one. It's just the one. Mmm, this is so yum. So easy, really quick. I love how I'm telling you this like it's an actual <laughs> recipe. I literally just chucked together what I had. That's what I do on the days where things aren't bad. <laughs> I'm going to go now because my accountant's coming soon and we're going to talk about adult life stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this real life morning routine. Let me know if you have any video requests down below and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.